Hello everyone and welcome to yet again another Spark Fun Friday new product post. We have a few products for you this week so let's take a look at what we got. First up this week we've got an all new Arduino and breadboard holder. Um, this is a little different than the one that we've currently been carrying in that it doesn't have those little clips that seem to break off quite easily. Um, it just has these little um, spacers basically. The Arduino fits over top of it and we include a couple of screws to just screw into these holes. Now we've arranged these little pegs in such a way that any board that has pretty much that Arduino footprint with the Arduino hole spacing should work in here. Um, since the board is actually flat this way, there's really nothing to get in the way. It does work with the Arduino R3 and it should work with all the other boards. Um, you can also orient it this way or that way um, because of the way these little um, standoffs are arranged. And you can even use this with the Mega because there's nothing to get in the way of it just kind of hanging off the edge. So this is the new revision of our base plate and the holder. Um, we're shipping these now and um, all the future SIKs will now have this board in there instead of the old one. So hopefully that's a little bit less frustrating than the ones with the little tabs that broke off. For all the tinkerers out there, we have a new breakout board. This is the breakout board for the Atmega 32U4. You might be familiar with the 32U4 because it is the chip that is the heart of the new Arduino Leonardo and it is also the chip that is on our Pro Micros. However, this board is a little bit different. This is not an Arduino. Um, it is a breakout just for the 32U4 and it allows you to play with it, prototype it, and you know just really mess around with the IC and you know away from the Arduino environment. Um, this is set up so that you can plug it into your USB on your computer and program it directly without a programmer. So you do not need a programmer to play around with this board. Um, you can use, you know, um, programmer's notepad, anything like that. Um, you can reprogram the chip with the um, header down here. And we do break out all the pins along the edge. And we've actually labeled them what they're labeled on the IC. So, you know, we're not calling it like digital one, digital two, like the Arduino is. We're just calling it, you know, what the pin name is. So if you're looking to play with this IC and you don't want to play with the Arduino side of it, you just want to play with the raw IC by itself, check out the new Atmega 32U4 breakout board. And lastly, we've got a new addition to the ProtoSnap lineup. This is the ProtoSnap Minibot. Um, the ProtoSnap Minibot is a robot kit um, that you build. Uh, you start out with um, the bare PCB like this, and then you build it up into one of these full-fledged robots. Now the interesting thing about the um, ProtoSnap Minibot is it has an FTDI on here, it has a um, Arduino Pro Mini, we have a motor driver here, some prototyping area and some other sensors and whatnot that we'll go into later. And when you're done, you just snap all these pieces apart and you can put them on you know, some other platform. You can do like laser cut plexi or you can just do you know, whatever you want and then you build it on that and you're basically left with all these individual components. Or you can just use the robot as is like this. And we give you places to bolt on different things and modify it any way you see fit. So let's open up one of these kits and show you exactly what's included. So first off, we've got the actual wheels there. And for the um, actual motor drive thing, we're using the Tamiya Twin Gearbox. So that comes unbuilt, so you will need to put this together. Um, in addition to that, we've got some various components here. We've got the wiring, the battery holder, and then of course, the actual circuit board. And in addition, we have this nice little manual here, which steps you through all the soldering and all the assembly to put the whole thing together. So this is the full instruction manual for it. And in addition, we also have a tutorial that tells you how to program and how to do different things with this. So check out the guide for the assembly instructions. Check out the tutorial linked on the product page for you know, how to use the code and how to get more out of this kit. And then next week, we'll also have another video that shows you specifically how to put the gearbox together and some other little assembly tips and tricks. Um, so there's a lot of resources available for this, so we don't want you to be left in the dark. Um, let me explain a little bit more about the actual robot. 
We've got the gearbox mounted here on the bottom with the two wheels. Um, we've got just one of these little standoffs um, on the front so that we can see a little better on this one. And that acts as basically our front wheel, so it just kind of slides around on the front of that. Um, there is some hole spacing here for one of those um, uniball wheel type things, so you can mount that in there if you want. We have this battery holder on top. It does not come with a 9 volt, so you will need to provide your own 9 volt battery. Um, but once everything comes together, it looks like this. On the front, we do have an infrared emitter and an infrared receiver. So the way this comes to you pre-programmed is with basic object avoidance. So if I turn this one on, we'll get an idea what it does when it ships. <laughs> so it turns. In addition to all the other resources I just mentioned, we do have another video on the product page here that will give a little bit more in-depth um, of what you can do with this too. So check out that as well. Um, if you're looking for a simple educational robot kit, check out the ProSnap Minibot. So there you have it, another new product post. We've got a new holder, new development board or breakout board for the 32U4, and of course a robot. What's more to love? Um, we'll see you again next week with even more new products and have a good weekend.